Welcome back to HTML5 with me, Nerd321, and today we are looking in great detail, I say great detail, uh, at lists. So, numbered lists where it goes 1 through 10 and then on beyond, depending on how many things you want to list. Um, and bullet pointed lists, so like we've got here, we've just got a two bullets bullet pointed list. Um, and then descriptive lists or definition lists, which um, if you're running a dictionary site, unlike the millions that are already out there, um, you could use this uh, and it basically puts whatever you define as the thing you're defining there and then the definition goes on the next line down set in a bit. Um, and using CSS or the style thing, you can move these around and make it so that it might say the title in bold and then the definition in a slightly smaller font next to it. There's loads of ways you can customize the lists. Um, customization and moving things around and changing things a little bit is uh, done more in the CSS than it is in the HTML5. They kind of go hand in hand, so I may link to relevant CSS videos here. And now that that annotation has disappeared, uh, we can get on with looking at lists. So we'll start with the bullet point list, and these are fairly easy to make. Um, they are called an unordered list in HTML5 uh, because there's no numbers, so there's no particular order. There is just a list of things with bullet points. So here is the code behind that bullet point list that you saw, uh, and you start it off. Um, by using UL as a tag, which stands for unordered list. So open up your triangly brackety things, type in UL, and then close them off. And then put the closing tag as well. Then in between them, I'm going to use line returns to make it easier for you to see. You want to put uh, an LI, which is just a list object. Um, it's an item on a list. Fairly simple there. And we're going to have uh, an LI. I'll define it manually and then don't forget this also wants closing off and we are going to say hmm this is a list because it is uh, and our second one we will say um, it's too early to be making this video would like to point out it's 10.25 in the morning. To me that is too early. I want to go back to bed. And we will just copy and paste that on to the third because I'm lazy like that. There we go. So now if we save this and refresh, we should have another list which we do. And there we are. That is how you define a bullet point list. UL and then for every bullet point have an LI object. Uh, with the text or whatever you want there uh, in the middle. You could put images and whatever in a bullet point, but that would be a bit weird. Just put the image on the page. Um, then we'll move on to numbered lists. Now, because they have numbers, HTML5 defines them as ordered lists. Ordered one through however many you want. So this one goes one to ten, that one goes one to five. Um, voice went a bit weird there. And you define these with OL for ordered list. Uh, so pretty much the same as before, you have your opening OL, then you have a, a list object for every single thing that you want. Um, so these are what we looked at last time, the, the text formatting, making it bold, italics and whatever. They were all defined in an ordered list because they went 1 through 10. Um, and they were all within the OL tags for ordered list. Um, and yeah, you could make another one just like I did with a bullet point list, but I'm not going to do it for everything. Uh, now, these are slightly different, the uh, definition lists or descriptive lists, um, because they have two tags to every, um, I don't know what you'd call it, every item on the list. Um, you don't have to have two tags for every item on the list, uh, but the way they're designed to be used, um, they do. So, now, I'd just like to point out as well that because there is a tab here, that isn't the reason that there is a tab here. That's just the way that it's defined in HTML that it comes in a tab. This is just my formatting. So I could actually put this on the same line just to prove that to you. And it will still come up on the next line with a tab there. There we go. Um, it 
it's just the way it's defined in HTML. Uh, that's how it works. Again, you can change it with CSS. Um, link here. <laughs> um, I put it back how it was formatted. Make it easier for you to read. So if we define a new one, you use the DL tag this time, um, and then again close it off. And between the two tags, uh, you want a DT, which is a definition title. So either the thing you're defining or the, the title of the item in the list um, and again close it off and then between these you put what you're defining or the title um, fairly simple there I'm probably going to stop saying that now because you should have got the concept that what you're doing goes between the tags and you need to close them off I will tell you if there are any exceptions to that um, so we'll just again go um, me as the title and, and then you do a DD Double D. Um, I'm not going to say that again. Um, and in there goes the actual definition or description of whatever it is. Uh, so I am epic. Uh, I am. I am not really. No. Just no. Um, and then you can copy and paste that as many times as you like until you realise that it's just going to keep on saying the same thing um, over and over again. And if we refresh this now, down at the bottom we have that. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much all there is to bullet point lists, ordered lists, and um, definition or descriptive lists uh, that you can do in HTML5 without using CSS. Obviously, there's certain attributes, so you can set the width um, of these. So, I don't know, you can also set the font size as well within each of these individually, um, which you would do the same as we did in the text formatting tutorial where I made these um, stupid sizes using EM um, so go watch last week's episode to find out how to do that um, but yeah thanks for watching guys and I will see you next week when we look at links tags that can go in that little head bit up at the top and how to optimize your site to get it onto Google and probably then spammed by millions of people um, so good luck with that and I'll see you next time.